big sound. Oh, I got a monster one. Oh, I got two. Hey guys, Snapper out here fishing, and we are launching here at Huntington Harbor. I've actually never launched here before, and I'm definitely gonna launch here more often. But before we dive deep into this video, I wanna thank Strapina for sponsoring this video, and I wanna show you guys a quick unboxing. Catch you guys in a bit. All right, look what we got here, guys. We got straps from Strapino. They are transmit straps that will upgrade my current straps that I have now that I tie down my boat and my jet ski. One, two. Dang, these are really big hooks. They have S hooks on them. Oh. How cool it retracts. So if I pull like this, it will automatically retract itself. And then when I push it down, it'll lock it. All right, it's pretty cool, huh guys? So I'll pretty much hook this end to my jet ski and then hook this end to my trailer. Yeah, these are the heavy duty ones. So this one will most likely go onto my boat. Pretty much once you release it, you hook it on and then you're going to crank it so you tighten it. If I press this button again, it's going to retract. For now, I'm gonna install this one onto the sea -Doo. All right, so this is what I've been using. I've been using these straps. Not really the best straps for my jet ski, but it's just what I had at the time. See, it's not the greatest to uh, take on and off. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little while. <laughs> All right, now for the new and improved. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm, I'm going to install the Shapino. It's pretty simple. S hook right here onto the knot on my trailer. And then I have this hook right here onto my jet ski. And crank it. Done. That simple. And then when I wanna take this off, press this down and agree it. There you go, and it tracks. It's that simple, guys. It is that simple to use. Such an easy, probably this is definitely the easiest strap I've used ever. <laughs> so thanks to Chapino for the amazing straps. So today I'm gonna be doing something I haven't done in a while. I'm gonna slow troll or bounce ball a sardine. Uh, near structure and see if I could get hopefully a halibut, hopefully a couple sand bass. But I haven't done this in a very long time. I've been lately. I've just been dropping lures um, at structure and casting out coast snipers and whatnot. But this time I want to chill out and just slow troll sardine. And also going to be trolling a Mad Mac. And if those don't work, I'm just gonna throw a hook of bait. So let's see what we can get. All right, I am near the spot I want to be. So I'm gonna set up my rig. It's super foggy today. Like the visibility is like not that great, but it's doable. All right, starting off with the bounce ball rig. I got the Akuma Komodo SS on the Guide Select uh, swim bait stick. I got my treble with a single hook and I'm gonna put a frozen sardine I don't know how many ounces this oh six oh well, I guess I'll just use a six ounce weight not too heavy and I'm gonna just slow troll it really slow I'll probably go like one to two miles per hour 
my sardine. And I packaged sardines from the last trip. And what you want to do is you want to hook it through hook it through the nose. like that and then the treble hook will go near the tail like that and then when you pull the hook there has to be a little bend like this so in the water it's gonna start rotating like that and that's what's gonna ignite the bite if you want info on this rig uh, there's a bunch of tutorials on uh, YouTube. I think it's called the bounce ball rig, bounce ball trap rig, something like that. And there's tons of tutorials on how to set up this rig. And we are good. There you go, bounce ball rig. All right, let's send it. So what's nice about the Sea-Doo is that there is a trolling mode. So once you click it, you can set the trolling speed. All right, so if you can see my bait, it's spinning in the water. And then if I click this button here, see now I'm in the trolling mode. All right, I hit the bottom. I'm gonna troll really slow. I'm actually gonna troll towards those birds. Oh yeah, I can feel the bottom. And when you're trolling like this, you have to feel the bottom. There you go. And we're set. Oh, I they just got stuck on something. Oh my gosh, it got chomped. Dude. What? What is going on? I had a fish. What? What is that? What could this be? Oh man, I missed it. All right, well. There's something down there. Okay. I don't know if this is a fish. Is it? Oh no, I think I'm just stuck. Oh no, I have a fish. Oh yeah, I have a fish. I have a fish. I have a fish. Yes, on the troll. Oh. Oh, what is it? Oh, the big sand bass. Nice. Yeah. Check that out on the on the bounce ball rig. Yeah. All right, there's sand bass here. Nice one. Man, it really ate it, huh? All right. Cool. All right, let this guy go. Let's drop this guy down. Right. 
Nice. Got my first one. Only got one, two, three, five more sardines. So hopefully one of these sardines will be the golden ticket to a white sea bass. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe a halibut. I don't know. Oh, we got marks here, guys. We got marks here. Pretty sure I might get hit right here, actually. Oh. Wait, is it? Oh, it is a fish. It is a fish. Oh. Oh, this is a strong fish. I thought I was stuck. Oh. Guys, this is a strong fish. What? Wow. gosh huge sand bass monster oh man dude this is a monster oh dude monster sand bass wow oh my gosh I think I was stuck Oh, dude, crazy. Look at this fish. Oh, man, dude, check out this fish. It was stuck in the kelp. Wow, monster sand bass, dude. Nice, let them go. Wow. Oh, cool. Oh, I do have a fish. Fish on, fish on. Fish on, guys, fish on. It's not that big. Yeah, it's a good size one. Good size Sandy. Uh, nah. Slow baby. All right. No Sandy. Whoa, that's a mark. I'm gonna drop this hook a bit down. Okay, I'm gonna stop trolling this because for some reason my hook keeps getting undone so I'm gonna stop this Dude, I wasn't even paying attention. What? Oh, and I got a monster one. Dude, I was not paying attention. I literally just saw my rod bend in half. Dude, this one's huge. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Crazy. On the hook of bait. Wow, that was cool. There. 
All right, there you go. Dude, what a monster. Wow. I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> Dang, that was cool. All right, what was I doing? Oh, I was getting the DTX. Literally was just trying to get my lure and I just see my rod just bent in half. Crazy. Let's get this hookup beat up and let's start trolling. Oh! Got one. I got one on the way up. Oh, nice one. Dude, the hookup bait is actually doing really well right now. Maybe I should just... Oh, man. Chill. What the... Dude, this fish is crazy. Boom. Got one, guys. On the hook of bait. Another nice sandy. On the hook of bait. Nice. So the bite slowed down a little bit on the hook of bait. So I'm gonna I switched to the Carl jig just to see if I could get anything here near this structure. Just so wanna try it out. Oh, yep, told ya. I knew they were here. Got it. Ah, uh, baby though. Got hit hard on the Akara. Ooh, nice Sandy. Baby one though. These hooks are so sharp. You do not want to get your finger hooked by this. Oh my God. Got it. Oh, nice one. Let's get you Nice. Oh, got, got one. Oh, this is a nice bass. This one's fighting hard. This is fighting really hard. Oh, I got two. That's why. Oh, man. Oh, one came off. Oh, I got his calico, though. First calico of the day. Nice. Sick. That's why I was fighting so hard. I got two.
Oh, this one's heavy. This one's so heavy. I actually might have two. Again. Oh no, it's just massive. Oh, this one's good. This one's a huge. Dude, massive one. Nice. Wow, nice. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, it came off. What? Oh, no, I got it. Wow. I think it came off and I got another one. The first one was way heavier. Man. That sucks. Strong one, guys. Oh, yeah, this one's a fighter. Monster sand bass again on the Kara. Oh yeah. Oh it came off. No, that was a big one too. It's okay. Dang it. That was a big one. Alright, I'm gonna see if maybe I catch one or two more and then I'm getting hungry. I didn't keep any fish, so I'm not doing the catch and cook but I'm still cooking. I'm gonna cook myself a nice ribeye steak. It'll be my first time cooking a steak on the sea dew. <laughs> but I've been really craving a ribeye steak, so and I'm starving. Oh! What? Oh, on the hook of bait. No! No way! Oh, my rod bent. All right, guys, time to cook my steak. I am done fishing. I'm starving, so let's get to it. I'm just glad it's not that windy out today. Mashed potatoes. The water's boiling now, so I can put in the mashed potatoes. I can turn this off. Oh yeah, it's boiling. Quick and simple. I'll also add a little bit of butter. There you go. All right, mashed potatoes are done. Mm, that's good. All right, got my ribeye. And just salt and pepper today. Nothing crazy. Oh yeah, 
look at this hunk of meat. Look at that. Nice. Steak is seasoned. Let's get this cast iron nice and hot. Ah, let me put some oil. We gotta get this cast iron piping hot. All right, here it goes. Steak in. Oh yeah. Probably four, three to four minutes each side. You gotta add a little bit of butter. So I just realized I left one of my propane tanks in the car. So I'm hoping that this one half propane tank is enough. So hopefully the steak will cook through. <laughs> the steak is almost ready guys. It is almost ready. Check this out. <laughs> yeah, it's ready. It's definitely ready. Oh yeah. I'm gonna let this rest. Yeah, I'm gonna let this rest. Got some mushrooms. I really hope there's enough gas. It's all right. Got onions and mushrooms. I was gonna make a cream sauce, but it's okay. Frog powder, paprika, and some salt. Bring back the steak. Ooh. Oh, there's nothing really here. Bring the mashed potatoes back. Boom. We got ourselves a nice steak dinner. Ribeye steak on the sea dew. Let's dig in. First time making a ribeye steak in the ocean. Oh, medium rare. Just how I like it. Oh man, this is good. Mm. Steak cooked perfectly. 
mushrooms, onions, and mashed potatoes cook perfectly. Nice. Super grateful to come out here to do this. Thank you guys for the support so far. It's been unreal, man. Unreal. I do have a big announcement coming. I'm just waiting for a shipment to come in so that I can announce my next sponsor. And it's a big one. Big one. Yeah, thank you so much for the support. I'm gonna continue to keep cooking stuff on the sea dude, keep fishing, just keep exploring. Uh, it's been so fun, man. It's been really fun. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. I can't wait to show you guys the next episode. I will see you soon. Peace.